Congress, uh, 70 some million people are disappointed today. I will be a president for all Americans. He made big promises to the nation and to Illinois. Now President Joe Biden has his work cut out for him to reboot an economy battered by a pandemic and reunite a country still bitterly divided. Capitol Bureau Chief Mark Maxwell reports from Springfield where Joe Biden got his big break back in 2008. Let me introduce to you the next president. That slip of the tongue would eventually come true 12 years after Barack Obama announced his running mate in August 2008. Joe Biden! The, the podium was set up where you see the sidewalk right now. Historian David Blanchett helped set up that event for an Illinois senator who promised hope and change and rejected the notion of two Americas. Obama's running mate then, president now, with a similar message in his inaugural address. We must end this uncivil war that pits red against blue, rural versus Ireland. Or rural versus urban, conservative versus liberal. Surrounding the Capitol in D.C. and Springfield, Blanchett saw signs of division still lingering after a mob stormed the Capitol two weeks ago. It is such a surreal scene to have armed troops guarding government buildings like you would see in some third world dictatorship. It is just so surreal, and especially here in, in one of the uh, most significant Abraham Lincoln sites where he was all about unifying the, the country and about equality. As President Biden pledges to make our nation whole, Illinois Democrats hope his COVID relief package can make our state budget whole too. We gotta advocate for Joe Biden to quickly as possible, not in 100 days, in the 30 days, to get another stimulus package that really sends good money to state and local governments. Just how much money do you wanna print? wary of a federal bailout and weary of the National Guard. This was not necessary. House Republican Dan Calkins still hopes this new president can bring a nation from the edge back to middle ground. There's always been fringes on the left and the right. Uh, hopefully those things uh, are not exasperated and people will come together. That in this country, there was no obstacle that could keep you from your dreams if you're willing to work hard and fight for it. The steps of our old state capitol, much like the perimeter of our nation's capital in D.C., crawling with heavily armed National Guard today. It's what they symbolize, that line of defense against a real or perceived threat from our very own neighbors that President Biden now seeks to tackle and overcome, as he promised on the campaign trail, to heal and unite a divided country. That same sentiment echoed from Abraham Lincoln's 1858 speech here at the old state capitol, where he quoted the scriptures, and said a house divided against itself cannot stand. Reporting in Springfield, Mark Maxwell. President Biden's American Rescue Plan isn't cheap. It calls for a $1.9 trillion stimulus package. That would include $1,400 direct payments for most Americans and $350 billion for state and local governments.